Hi everyone, I just wanted to do a video today about um, the isolating effects of mental health, um, particularly anorexia, and mainly about my sort of quest I'm going to try and get treatment, um, some form of treatment. Um, it's a really horrible thing, anorexia, you wouldn't have guessed. Um, I've literally not seen my friends for weeks. Um, I haven't <clears throat> really been able to do anything. I can't travel at the moment. Um, my friend's picking me up today because I can't, couldn't get to the doctors this morning because I was just feeling too energyless. So I'm going to stay around my friends and I'll go tomorrow morning and I'm going to ask for some support, um, which is one of the challenges really. Um, I found that talking to mental health professionals in the UK, we have loads of boundaries. You can only get help for an eating disorder if you're below a BMI of 17, um, and they'll only really take you seriously if you're below 15 BMI, which is disgusting and ridiculous um, that you have to lose weight to get help. Like, it's ridiculous. I've got waiting lists that are just so long, and I know it's going to take four months or so for me to be seen by someone, and that is terrifying, because right now I feel so out of control. And I've had to step back from my PhD, I've had to step back from a lot of things in my life that I love and focus on getting better. But um, because I've been isolating myself, I'm feeling just like the only thing I have is my eating disorder right now. Um, I feel like now that I can't work, I've lost that part of me. Now that I can't really see friends, I've lost that part of who I am. I can't do the things that I love. Um, I just feel like you, your eating disorder slowly chips away your external world so you eventually just have your eating disorder and that's what it wants because it just wants you to be consumed by it and to only to be able to do what the eating disorder wants you to do without any restrictions of um, the outside world. Um, but what I've learned is that I've got people in my life that still do believe in me and my ability to recover from this and I've got people in my life who will message me regardless of how crap I'm being of how crap I'm being as a friend to them um, by not being there by being off the grid and the people that can find you I've told her, my friend told me this morning that she still sees me for people to still see me and believe in me that is so much that means so much for me to be able to for people to be able to say I don't see just the anorexia, I see you as well in there and you're fighting back and I think that is something that keeps me going because the minute that people don't believe in me and the people, minute people stop seeing the Kate that's in here somewhere, I lose hope and hope is the most important thing. I know that I probably will have this to an extent in the back of my mind for the rest of my life because I've grown up with it but I know that it will get better someday and I know that I deserve recovery as much as my eating disorder tells me I don't sorry I'm like I'm continuously on the verge of tears it just tells me that I will never be a good enough daughter or friend or girlfriend or person unless I starve myself and prove that I can at least do something right or just do something, achieve something and that's not right and it can go to hell and I'm so lucky that I still have people in my life that believe in me because my mum doesn't. Um, my family I feel like are losing faith that this is just a repetitive cycle that I keep going in, recovery, <laughs> anorexia, recovery, bulimia, recovery, <laughs> Ednos, like, they're bored and sick of it, I'm bored and sick of it, and it's just so frustrating when people lose faith in you, because I just want to shake them and be like, I would never stop believing in you, but I know it's easier said than done, um, but I will recover. We will recover. We just have to cling on to those people that keep the positive little light at the end of the tunnel glowing 
who keep it on fire, who keep it alight and who don't let the flames go out ever so that one day we can look in the reflection and see ourselves and see something beautiful. Um, much love to you all and thank you for all your support as always. You're all absolutely phenomenal people. All right. Bye everyone.